got John Porporato. He was the architect who designed the first building on the grounds of this Italian cemetery, completed in 1904. Uh, and it was originally used as a chapel for committal services and was a receiving fault for temporary entombment of caskets until private mausoleums were constructed. So it was originally the old mausoleum that you saw in a past video that I showed. Really was a receiving vault for temporary storage and for people who are getting an elaborate final resting place like this uh, designed. And they turned it into a permanent mausoleum after um, it was uh, built. But... Or after, after some time, excuse me. So this is the architect that designed the first mausoleum on the grounds here, slash receiving vault. Let's see here. John is straight ahead and his name is on the bottom. August 31st, 1877 to July 21st, 1965. And there's their various family members in here off to the left and to the right. Can't hard, it's kind of hard to, to show that because the glass looks like his father, his mother, Francesco is his father, Anna was his mother, his spouse was Maria, uh, uh, son Albert, and then daughter Anita Margaret, and then brother Eugenio, Uenio, however you want to pronounce it, is um, inside here with John. And I'm going to show you exactly what John built, if you guys don't remember, because I did a video last week about it, but let's, I'll show you in a minute. So I'm sure you guys remember from a past video, this was what John constructed. He was the architect that built this. It was originally, it was a receiving vault for people who were having... Um, elaborate uh, graves built that didn't have a final resting place until the construction was completed and it later on became a more permanent mausoleum which explains why the directory it was referred to as a receiving vault on the directory and it has everybody's name here and it further explains why these are numbered and lettered They originally were not meant to be permanent. And then later on, I guess, it became the um, more permanent mausoleum, obviously, because there's nameplates in here. Usually receiving vaults don't have nameplates. They're usually got hinged doors or temporary uh, faceplates, and they're numbered or lettered. So that explains it. I kind of had a sneaking suspicion that that's what the case was with this one. But that was the mystery, and this is what John built. Beautiful stained glass windows. You guys, I'm sure, remember it now. I in a past video, but this is uh, insane. His built beautiful. His vision was uh, very, very beautiful. Well, that wraps it up for this video. They're getting ready to close the gate pretty soon, and uh, I can see them eyeballing me, wanting me to get the heck out of here. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you would like me to come back to this cemetery, just put it in the comment box below. There's much more I didn't see this on this trip, on this cluster of videos that I did here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads, fellow explorers. It was a pleasure. Thank you all so much. Thank you for watching. This video was made possible with the help of viewers just like you. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Just as little as $1 a month can go to help fuel future videos and help the channel run smoothly. The link to our Patreon is in the drop down description box of this video. Thank you.